All right, what I'm going to do here is make a quick video on um, golden seal, show some um, what the root looks like and uh, tops of the plant and maybe talk a little bit about it. You're looking at some root stock that I had broken apart and replanted it into a little bed here for next year once it's growing a little more. What I'm going to do is dig it up and uh, break it into smaller pieces and transplant it into bigger. Now, uh, let me get a root dug up here and show you. Try to find one that's a little bit bigger. Show you what the root looks like and stuff like that. I know it's maybe kind of hard to see exactly what the leaves look like, but once I dig one, you'll be able to tell. Here. You can see it's uh, very yellow, the roots. Um, if you were to break them apart, I mean, it's like a bright yellow. I think the Indians used it as a lot for dye and stuff. We got a, kind of a drought going on here, so the soil's pretty pretty damn dry. But uh, I might have to break this off. They like said these are broken off from big plants and um, I would say like a plant this size here within three years would be you know a quite a bit larger and maybe I can find one that's uh, actually about three years growth so you can get a good idea of that but what happens is uh, let me break beat on this a little bit in the ground you can see it there this is where the weight starts coming in but See, there's some nodes and stuff like that for next year's growth. If I were to rip this plant in two right here, if I can do it, I could get a, if you can see how bright that is, what I could do is get, you know, a couple plants out of this in itself, and which I'll put this back in the soil, but... Usually the, it'll send up, a big plant will send up probably, I've seen anywhere 30 of these on one plant. And they always break off right here into two, and then you got your, your leaf pattern. But telltale sign is you start seeing that yellow there, and that's I guess why the nickname is yellow root. I mean it's, it's quite yellow. Let me hurry up and throw this back in the soil and maybe find a bigger root. All right, I've had this, this plant's been in here for quite a while. This is sitting underneath a cherry tree. I have no idea how big it is, but uh, I'm sure it's, you know, had a hard time growing, competing with other plants, but I gotta move it anyways. Um, I suppose in the wild they don't have quite as many fibrous roots on them, but uh, looks like this one was broken off from another and it isn't very, very big, but it is healthy. I mean, I could get one, two, three, four. I could get probably four plants off this one. Um, they are a very hardy plant from what I found, even in like planting them under fabric shade and stuff. But like this one's, like I said, it's been under the tree, a tree surviving, you know, amongst other other plants. And the only reason why it's not a bunch of weeds is because it's been so damn dry this year. Nothing really grows. Um, but it's making it. Now, uh, 
one good thing about the golden seal price pretty much stays steady I think it's been hovering around 20 to 25 dollars a pound dry at sometimes depending on the demand um, you can sell it green I've sold it green upwards of 15 dollars a pound but uh the other good thing, it's it's not like ginseng. I'd call, I'd say it's got a real use, or ginseng. Uh, it's pretty hyped up, but I suppose the Chinese have been using that for 2,500 years. So, um, there's uh, the medicinal properties of the golden seal are attributed that there's I think two alkaloids in it, and I'm not sure what they are, but uh, they have a concentration of like two to ten percent in there. And that's what makes this a valuable plant. And like the Indians had used it uh, for a lot of purposes, um, for antiseptic, a general health tonic, and to treat snake bites and such. Um, they also treated whooping cough and pneumonia and digestive disorders. Uh, early American pioneers used it as an eye wash and to treat sore throats and such you know, on mouth sores and digestive disorders, and that's kind of what it's being used for now. Um, there's, like, a heck of a commercial demand for it, which I said is good once somebody were to, uh, you know, to plan it, and you got it established, you're going you're gonna to get some money out of it. But uh, when you do plant it, it grows best in rich, moist, uh, loamy soil with good air and water drainage. Um, and it's not going to do good in heavily or poorly drained soil. I found that out. But it is a very hardy plant. And it runs, I'd say, 60 to 80% shade. Um, I got fabric shade left over from ginseng. I'm hoping to expand that up to get about a quarter acre growing. And um, after you tear it apart in that, you can uh, expect about three years to get it to... Uh, mature enough to dig which isn't too bad I got some more like I said this has been been in here for a long time I don't even know why I had it in here I think I had a couple roots that I left maybe I can dig up if I can find it there's a little bit right there um, right next to my wife's whatever them are um, I'd have to say this has been in here for five, five years, back and forth. I think I missed some of the root, but we can get a get a, a view again of this focus is in here. Oh, I'm zoomed out. So that'll that little I don't know what that weigh a few grams. Well, I. I don't know. It's got a little bit of disease on it, but it's a hardy plant. Um, there isn't much else. As you can see, this is what the the root does look like, and you break. I, from what I've heard, you can even take these little stems off and lay it in moist paper and sawdust or something, and watch as long as it's moist and get nodes growing on them and turn them into plants so I suppose in theory you could literally create thousands of plants off from a couple which I have not tried that I have never tried growing it from seed heard it's pretty hard hard to do from seed it does give like a raspberry um, like a seed pod on it looks like a raspberry but I don't add never had much luck growing on it you got to stratify them and stuff but they propagate propagate so damn well from uh, the rhizomes or whatever from underneath the soil that you don't have to ever worry about it doing the seeds if you get a hold of a little bit of golden seal you can multiply it pretty rapidly um, it does take three to five years um, to harvest the roots or divide the plants. Uh, if left undis undisturbed, the plant will start to crowd themselves out and all those roots will eventually die. So you like to dig them after the tops 
die down in the fall. That's why it sucks all the nutrients back into it. Um, sometimes there is a market for leaves and stems. I've sold them. I don't. I'm not into this very big. It's kind of. I used to grow gold ginseng, and um, I just basically had the material, so I started growing this, but I haven't put too much time into it. Now here's a little bit bigger one that's been in the soil. You can see, but I can't believe how dry it is this year. But, you know, there's a lot of plant there. But you get an idea what it's like, what it looks like, um, kind of a little bit how to grow it. You get a hold of rootstock, it doesn't, like I said, it's very hardy plant. You know, the tops might die down from this one that I dug, but chances are they won't. Um, I brick broken them apart in the middle of the summer, and they've done good, but I guess uh, that's what it looks like, and that's what the roots look like.